Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to look at intercepts and horizontal and vertical lines. So what is an intercept? Well, we have two different types of intercepts, an x-intercept and a y-intercept. The x-intercept is a point, a point where a graph intersects the x-axis. It's found by letting y equal 0 and then solving for x. So you'll end up with the point of an x value and then 0. Now the y-intercept is also a point, and it's a point where the graph intersects the y-axis. And this is found by letting x equal 0, and you solve for y. So you end up with a 0 value for your x and a y value. Let's look at a couple of graphs and see if we can identify the x and the y-intercepts. So graph 1. Remember, your x-intercept is where your line, or your graph, crosses the x-axis. Well, our x-axis is this horizontal axis. And do you see where our graph crosses? Yeah, right here. So this is our x-intercept. And remember, an intercept is always a point, so it needs to be an ordered pair. And what's the, the value of the ordered pair here? Well, x is 1, 2, 3, and our y value, because it's an x-intercept, is 0. So the point 3, 0 is our x-intercept. Now let's look at our y-intercept. Remember, that's where your line crosses the y-axis, or the vertical. And we see that it crosses right here. So here's our y-intercept. And the ordered pair is 0 for x, and we go down 1, 2, so negative 2 for our y value. So the point 0, negative 2 is the y-intercept. Let's look at the second graph. Now, where do we cross the x-axis? Yeah, this point. So this is our x-intercept. And the ordered pair for that point is 1, 0. And our y-intercept? Yeah, it's this other point. So this is our y-intercept. And the ordered pair for that point? Yep, 0, 1. So another way you can find intercepts is to complete a table. So you fill in the table. You know your x values, so you plug in the given x value and solve for the y. And then we can find the x-intercept and the y-intercept. So the easiest way to solve this equation is if it's in y equals format, because we're trying to solve for y. So to do that, we need to add x to both sides. So we have negative x plus y equals negative 2. If we add x to both sides, that removes the x from the left-hand side and leaves us with just y. And it puts the x on the right-hand side. So we get y equals x minus 2. Now we can plug in our given x values and solve for y. So y equals negative 4 minus 2. Negative 4 minus 2, negative 6. Okay, the second one, if x is negative 2, we have y equals negative 2 minus 2, so y is negative 4. Okay, here x is 0, so y equals 0 minus 2. 0 minus 2 is minus 2. And the fourth example, y equals 2 minus 2, so y is 0. And then the last one, y equals 4 minus 2, or 2. So now we need to find our x-intercept and our y-intercept. Remember that intercepts happen when one of the values of your ordered pair has a 0. So we have these two situations where part of our ordered pair is 0. So this first value is the same as the point 0, negative 2. 
and the second one is the point two, zero. Remember that your x-intercept, you get a value for x when y is zero. That's the second point. So this is our x-intercept because x is two and y is zero. And our y-intercept, you get a value for y when x is zero. So this first point, zero, negative two, is our y-intercept. Now let's find intercepts and use those intercepts to graph a line. So first you need to find the x-intercept and plot it, then find the y-intercept and plot it, and then you connect the dots and draw a line that passes through both of those intercepts. Sounds pretty easy, right? Okay, so let's find our x-intercept. Well, remember your x-intercept happens when y equals zero. So let's plug in y equals zero into this given equation. That gives us negative x over four plus zero over three equals one. I know, I know there are fractions. Don't freak out, just work with the fractions for now. So notice that zero over three, that fraction, that simplifies to zero. So, it's technically gone, right? Because adding zero to anything doesn't change. So we are left with negative x over four equals one. And if we multiply both sides by the denominator, four, we eliminate that fraction. So negative x equals four. Well, we need to know x, not negative x. So divide by negative one, and we find out that x equals negative four. So we have our first ordered pair, negative four, zero, our x-intercept. So we can plot that. We go left four, and there's our x-intercept. Now let's find our y-intercept. So the y-intercept happens when x equals zero. So we plug in zero for our x. So negative zero over four plus y over three equals one. Well, again, zero divided by four, that just becomes zero. So that leaves us with y over three equals one. And again, we multiply by the denominator to remove that fraction and we get y equals three, or the ordered pair, zero, three. So starting at the origin, we go up three. And we have our y-intercept. Last step, connect the dots. And there we have our line for negative x over four plus y over three equals one. Now, the last part of this section is all about horizontal and vertical lines. Remember, a horizontal line runs parallel to your x-axis. It looks like the horizon. So, example one is a horizontal line. A horizontal line has the equation y equals b, where b is your y-intercept. So, where's our y-intercept? It's here, it's the point zero, four. So this horizontal line has the equation y equals four. And then, example two, we have a vertical line. That's a crazy looking vertical. And a vertical line goes up and down. So a vertical line follows the equation x equals because your x value is always the same and it's always whatever your x-intercept value is. So our x-intercept here is four zero. So this equation is x equals four. 
So remember, a horizontal line is always a y equals equation, and it's y equals whatever that y intercept is. And a vertical line is always an x equals equation, and it's x equals whatever your x intercept is. Have a question or a problem you want help with? Leave it in the comments and I'll include it in one of my videos. If this video was helpful, subscribe to my channel for more math tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you next time.